Hey guys, Cece back with another video and before y'all even say anything, I know what y'all thinking. Heffa, you just did a video of why you not gonna buy Kylie Jenner products and now you show up with some Kylie Jenner products. Well, I'll explain to y'all about that in a minute. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you already know what I'm going to say, but we're gonna do the rest of this haul first and then I will explain to you guys about the Kylie products. So as I told you guys in my last haul, Ulta is currently in the middle of their 21 days of beauty. So they do this, I think once or twice a year, where basically every day for 21 days, they have different be beauty deals and steals on skincare, hair products, as well as makeup. Everyone's favorite, right? So I've been taking advantage of it. I ordered like five days in a row this week. I've been definitely taking advantage of some of the steals. So I will show you guys the stuff that I have gotten and I also did some more shopping at some other places, which I just told you guys that I would explain to you after the Ulta haul. So sit tight and uh, just wait on it. But anyway, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Cece. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family if you have not already. And if you're not new to my channel and you're coming back, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me. So without further ado, Let's get into the haul. Alright guys, so we are going to jump right in and get started with the stuff that I got from Ulta. As I just explained to you guys, they are in the middle of their 21 days of beauty. So I have been purchasing a few items. So I'm just going to start pulling things and jump right in. The first thing I got was this Stila shape and shade custom contour duo i got it in the color deep and i think this is just a tad bit too deep like look how dark that is i think i should have gotten it in medium so i might be taking this back and exchanging it for the medium but this is the concept it is a cream contour and highlight and i've heard really really good things about this product it is great for travel it is in this little slim compact here and has a nice little mirror Next, I purchased another cream product. This is the Pure Cosmetics Sun Kiss Glow Strobe Highlighting Palette, and it just looks like this. As you guys can see, I've definitely swatched it already, but that is how it looks, and it comes with three really gorgeous cream highlighters. They are Aurora, Solar, and Dusk. Is that right? Yeah, Aurora, Solar, and Dusk. So um, they're really pretty shades, especially this bronze one right here. I cannot wait to use that shade. So if you guys want to see any of these products in a tutorial or anything like that, just let me know and I will certainly get that out for you. Next, I just have a concealer here from Bare Minerals. I was in the market for another cream concealer. So I purchased the Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer in the color number Dark 2. This is like the perfect shade for me as well. I needed a good concealer because I feel like I have been breaking out lately. So this concealer is absolutely perfect for blemishes and just covering up anything that you have on your face that you want to correct and conceal. Then, this is kind of in the realm of concealers. It's not really a concealer, but it goes underneath the eyes. And this is the Smashbox Photo Op Under Eye Brightener. I have been wanting to try this for a while, but just never got around to it. I think this was about 10 bucks, and it's originally 20. It was 50% off. So I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to try and see how this works. But it's just an under eye brightener, so... It's supposed to work along with your concealer and just really brighten up the under eyes um, a little more. Oh, it's very thin, so it's not going to conceal anything. I don't even know if you guys can tell what it's doing there. It just gives like a nice little sheen. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it really just gives like a nice little sheen. So um, this along with concealer, we'll see how it works. I don't know. I might have to use this in a first impressions video. Next, I got a Becca blush. This is the Becca Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. This was the only one that they had left in stock. I wanted to get like four of these, but this was the only one that they had left in stock. I was so pissed because I was online like early early in the morning and everything had already been sold out these were 
$15, I want to say, maybe $13. They were half off. So whatever the regular price is, they were half off. But only one I could get my hands on was Wild Honey. So um, I went ahead and picked that one up, but I was just so pissed. I do feel like I have blushes like this, but this is such a classic everyday blush color. I feel like you can never go wrong with a color like this one. And lastly from Ulta, I did pick up just a few things from Lorac. I got two blushes and one of their newer highlighters. So this first blush is in the color, what color is this? Infrared. And this is going to be gorgeous this season. Just look how pretty it is. I can't wait to wear that. And then I got a lighter peachy blush. And this one is in the color Technicolor. Can't get it open. So this is just like a regular peachy blush. It looks matte. Yeah, it's a matte peachy blush. So that's how that looks. And these were, I think, 10 or 11 dollars so really good deal and then of course I had to grab one of their newer highlighters this is their illuminating what is this light source highlighter in twilight and I've been wanting to try these highlighters for a while since they released them this is like the deepest one that they have the other ones really didn't interest me but I was definitely interested in this one and it's just a really pretty like almost deeper champagne color and it blends out really well so that's that all right you guys so getting into the Kylie products no I did not purchase from Kylie cosmetics but I got these from AliExpress so y'all know that I have like an AliExpress addiction and you can find almost anything on AliExpress I do not have the originals of any of these products that I'm going to show you nor am I endorsing buying fake makeup from AliExpress. I'm just showing you guys what I got. I just want to see if they work. I want to see what the colors look like. I want to see how they apply. So that is why I purchased them. Um, the first thing I got before we get into the Kylie stuff are three of the Huda Beauty lippies. And I got them in the color Bombshell. Is that one. I got Vixen. That's going to be pretty. And then I got Famous. So those are the three Huda Beauty products that I got. And now on to Miss Kylie. I grabbed two just regular liquid lipsticks. These did not come with the lip liner, so it's not the full kit. This one is in the color Too Cute. And this one is in King K. So those are those two. And with these AliExpress products, I am going to definitely do a lip swatch video. So if you guys want to see a lip swatch video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. And I'm going to do a lip swatch video just to see how these look and feel on the lips. I'm also going to be doing some on Snapchat, so make sure you are following me on Snapchat so you can see it. But getting into the Kylie Lip Kits, I got five of the Kylie Lip Kits and these were like $3 a piece for the full kit. I'm talking about the um, liquid lipstick as well as the lip liner. So this first one is in Mary Jo K. And it's a red color, obviously. So again, I don't have the originals to compare them to, but I really just want to show you guys what the colors look like. That is a nice blue-based red. It smells a little like vanilla. It smells a little like vanilla. Is that what Kylie Lip products smell like? Let me know down below if you guys have any of the Kylie Lip Kits. But those smell a little like vanilla. And then this lip liner is just a bit deeper. Ooh, but it's creamy, y'all. Super creamy. Okay, AliExpress, okay. The next one that I got is Exposed. So let's see how these look. And it's just a nudie color. It's like a peachy nude. 
and then this lip liner looks really really peachy almost orangey oh no that's just the cat so it's pretty natural this one is in coco k sorry y'all guess i should have had these open okay coco k is like a dusty pink and there's the lip liner which looks a little peachy okay first off the lip liner came a little dirty so the lip liner came a bit dirty okay that's weird look how it came out there's like some red in it it's like somebody tried to use red with it okay that's odd that's a little concerning this is by, why you buy the real thing right so the next color that I picked up is candy K and okay so candy K looks just like damn Coco K okay it's a little lighter you guys see that those are like the same damn look lipstick. This is Candy K and this is Coco K. They look really similar, but this is just a bit lighter. And then this is the Candy K lip liner. So let's see what that one looks like. Hell, all these lip liners look alike. The last one that I picked up is Dulce K. And Dulce K is like a nice, nudie, it's like a neutral nude. And the lip liner is there. And that lip liner, the lip liner looks super pink. I don't know how in the hell it came out so pink, but it looks super pink. It's weird. You guys, I forgot, I have one more item to show you guys, and this one is actually from Amazon. And they were having a huge, huge deal going on the other day where basically they were selling this entire kit for 40 bucks. So if you guys know anything about the Beauty Blender, then, then you know that they are $20 a piece. So in this kit, you get two full-size Beauty Blenders, a small little baby Beauty Blender, a Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser as well as the Blotterazzi Beauty Blender all for $40. So I had to pick that kit up as well. Alright guys, so that is all I picked up from Ulta, AliExpress, and Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed my haul videos, definitely don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also again, if you have not joined the family, please subscribe to my channel so you do not miss a single video. If you have any video requests for me, don't forget to leave those down below as well. I would love to know what you guys would like to see and i think that is it i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys